Another day where it was a little bit breezy and the wind has calmed down. But the reason why it's been so breezy the last few days, actually two things. We have the remnants now of what was Oscar out there around the Bahamas, just east of there. And to the north of that, we've got a pretty strong ridge of high pressure. So you've got strong low pressure here and strong high pressure there. There's a big difference between those two pressures. And when you have a big pressure difference like that, that creates wind. And that's what we're seeing and have been seeing over the past few days. Right now, though, the wind is a little more relaxed than it was earlier today. Right now, we're looking at about four to eight miles an hour around a lot of the area, about a nine mile an hour wind in Punta Gorda and Naples and 11 in Clewiston. Again, a little bit breezier by Lake Okeechobee because that wind coming from the northeast is going across water. Not as much friction on water as there is on land to slow that wind down. So that's why it's a little bit breezier there. Clewiston and Moorhaven. No rain anymore on our ABC 7 Live Doppler radar. We had a few little sprinkles and showers in eastern Collier County earlier on our newscast at 6 and 7. But with that calmer wind right now, those are done for the night. 76 right now in Fort Myers. The dew point is at 66, so it's not terribly humid out there. It's a little bit lower than it was last night at this time. And as we go through the day tomorrow and the remnants of Oscar move a little bit farther away and that ridge of high pressure nestles a little bit closer to us, the dew point's going to drop even a little bit more. And the wind, for the most part, is out of the north, north, northeast east right now at 9 miles per hour. So it's only adding a degree onto how it feels. Low temperatures this morning in a lot of the area in the low 70s. Tomorrow morning, it'll be about 3 degrees cooler than it was this morning. In Port Charlotte, we're going to see overnight low temperatures drop into the upper 60s right around 6 o'clock in the morning. You can see 5 a.m., 7 a.m., both at 70. At around 6 a.m., we'll drop down to about 69 degrees, but a mainly clear sky. Seasonal temperatures, we should be in the upper 60s for overnight low temperatures, will be at uh, 69 degrees in Port Charlotte tomorrow morning. And the breeze does pick back up as we go through the day on Wednesday. It's going to be about 10 to 15 miles an hour, and it will drag over just a few showers. You can see here at noon, an isolated shower southeast of Lake Okeechobee. Nothing over here just yet, but a few of those little showers and sprinkles will again be aimed mostly at southern Hendry County and into eastern Collier County. It's worth a mention. It's not really worth putting in the forecast because the vast majority of us will stay dry tomorrow. There may be about 1% of us somewhere in Clewiston, somewhere perhaps Everglades City may get an isolated little sprinkle tomorrow. That's really about it. Then as we head into Thursday, the wind turns a little bit more northerly, and that's going to continue to push the humidity down just a little bit. And that'll mean overnight low temperatures get a little bit cooler as we head on into the weekend. 69 tonight, 68 for Thursday and Friday morning. And then you can see high temperatures will trend down as well into the mid 80s. By the time we get into the end of the weekend and early next week, Sunday, Monday, our two coolest mornings of the next seven at 66. That is your most accurate forecast from ABC 7.